Hi, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cypher Sue. Today's topic is don't sweat the small things in your relationship. Now this is kind of a no-brainer conversation. We all know that we're not supposed to get all bent out of shape about all the little things that happen in our partnerships. But unfortunately, those little things are what become big things later on. And why do they become big things? Because we're not feeling heard. When we have to repeat things in our relationship, the smallest things can become such big hurdles because we don't feel respected, we don't feel heard that we are repeating these things on a continual basis. We want our partners to get it. So if something's really starting to, to bug you and you're at the point where you're just ready to scream about it, sit your partner down, gently tell them when you're not having the argument, do it at another time. Sit them down and just be really gentle and just say, look, this bothers me so much and I feel that you disrespect me when it's continuing on after I've asked it not to happen anymore. You don't have to agree with everything. You don't have to sit there and say, well, I, you know, I think that what they're saying is so petty. It might be petty to you, but maybe it isn't to them. And is it really worth worrying about those small little things when you've got so much else that makes your relationship great? But we all know the, the word irreconcilable differences. For the longest time, I didn't even know what the heck that meant. Like, why are people getting divorced over irreconcilable differences? But what it is, is these small little things become really big things and become huge irritants in your relationship to the point that you just look at your partner and you're just not excited about them anymore. You're, you're turned off because they don't understand how to make things a little bit better. So as much as you don't want to sweat the small stuff in a relationship, you do want to pay attention to it, get it resolved that you come to a compromise between the two of you and move on from that discussion so it doesn't have to keep coming. Okay? But try not to be so anal about everything that you're making all these little things in a relationship bigger than they need to be because you're sweating out the smallest situations that don't even sometimes need to be talked about. It's just something within you that bugs you. And if that's the case, you might have to lighten up a little bit about it as well because you don't wanna keep drawing attention to something that is now becoming a repetitive conversation that is taking a toll on your relationship. So if it's something really small that you can maybe learn to live with, try to live with it but talk to each other, communicate, and try to come to uh, some kind of resolution between the two of you so that the small things, again, don't become big things. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below this video and subscribe to my channel. I really love it when you do. Thanks so much.